Come on. Someone will send help soon. That was such a passive moment. There was like no indication. Wow. There was like no warm up to like, oh, somebody saw you. It was literally like, someone will help send help soon. Execution. I have a bad idea. Whee! What's that? They're using flares. Interesting, isn't it? You guys should check out that flare over there. We wouldn't want to miss out on what's Movement going on. Over there. With that. Anyone else see something move Fuck over you there? guys. Fuck you. Oh no. That wasn't a good plan either. Noise. Oh no, what was that? Someone should check it out. What could it have been? Get in there! Ooh! Oh, fuck! Sorry, you're dead. Oh, shh. Ah, I can't tell where they are, and there's four of them. Like, come on. Eyes open, guys. Eyes open. You say eyes open, guys. Are other people with you? Are they also gonna investigate the noise? Where the hell did she go? Are they gonna go check out? Check the shadows. Gotta be around here somewhere. Is she, are they gonna go down into the depot or are they gonna wait here? Because I can't really... Hate it that we have to do this. Then just don't do it. I don't even want to fight you guys. This is dumb. Go away. And I have no idea where they are. We just shoot, right? They went in the vents, I think. Where am I? Where are they right now? Ah, shit. No! It feels like I'm supposed to have more tools at my disposal or something. But like, the like... The game's supposed to teach you how to play it at some point, right? Literally all I've done is that one engine I snuck in and grabbed, and that was the easiest thing in the world. But in this game, I can't distract them at all. Go, go, go! Quickly! Is it all of them this time? I have no idea how many of them there might be. Or, I mean, how many of them might have gone so far. Listening for voices. I have no idea, man. Uh, that's someone right there. That's bad for me. He's turning. They're both looking over there, kind of. I don't know, at least one of them's distracted for a moment. I think one of them's upstairs. Shit, I, don't th I think only one of them went. Why does that keep opening and closing? Where's the woman? She's somewhere. <laughs> oh, that guy's back. Well, that didn't help. No one was distracted this time. I don't know who I trust more, you or the synthetics. Are they gonna go for the flare or am I gonna die? God damn it! God damn it, where am I going? Ah! Uh, son of a bitch! Alright, I have now given up and reloaded the entire mission from scratch because that just kind of felt like an unwinnable situation, unfortunately. Work, damn you! Stay back! Stay back! Don't come! Don't come! Pew pew, and then she runs away. Yep. Oh, there's like safes down here. Hello. Thank you. I maxed out on scrap, huh? Alright. 
But yeah, I felt like I was genuinely in an unwinnable situation. I approached the situation in so many different ways and tried to use every single tool that I think is at my disposal right now. And it seemed like I literally could not use them to solve the problem. Where'd she go? Weird. She's really gone now. So I think the guys coming in is just a scripted event that happens when you touch it, so I can just do whatever I want for now. But yeah, like I was... They were, there was four guys in this room, and if I walked up that ramp, I would immediately get it assaulted because they would just see me immediately. I would, if I tried creating distractions, it would only create, it would only distract a few of them, so they would still find me. And even when I tried to go really far, like any attempts to get around in this room were led to, led to me immediately getting shot to death. Ray, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe until Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name, the one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. He just looked right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. At this point, a gun would be like the biggest non-problem ever. <laughs> What's that? Oh, rewire. Interesting. All right, let's see what I can do with you. So this place is just totally calm and mellow now, huh? But yeah, like if I had like distraction bombs or smoke grenades or just anything I could use to try to distract them or deal with the situation, I would try to find another way to deal with the situation, but the only way I could see myself dealing with it right now would without reloading the mission like I have would be have to maybe lure them into a corner one by one and dispose all of them via straight up murder. Cuz uh man the flares weren't helping, and hiding, for some reason, wasn't working, even though that's like a stealth system, so who knows. What does unstable system even do? Air purification... ...and speaker system... No, we only have one. Oh, there it is. Oh. It's like a fog. That must help with stealth, right? Did it stop already? Oh, it's only in specific parts of the environment. Interesting. It's also like a really cheap looking... Is it, is it over now already? Or is it only in certain parts of the building? Weird. It's a weirdly cheap looking effect on the screen. Your screen just gets instantly covered with like a two-dimensional image of smoke. There's clearly some element of smoke in the environment, but not a whole lot. People were playing cards. Hello, space. Not fancy meeting you here. All it takes is one idiot shooting in the wrong direction and suddenly we have a hole in that wall and that'd probably be bad for all of us. You probably need the, yep, you need the security tuner. Everyone needs the security tuner for later. Alright, oop, bonding agent. So much opportunity for scrap collecting around here. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to adapt to stealth situations better in the future when I have any mechanics. There's supposed to be stealth mechanics in this game, I believe. But right now I have a flare and the ability to crouch. And neither of those were doing the job, so either I've missed something somehow, somewhere, but I wouldn't be able to know what that could be or couldn't be. Or I'm missing something about how to play the game because that felt like I couldn't physically do it. <laughs> Hello, vending machine. Wow, this is- this really is super scripted, huh? Doesn't really make it feel organic, really, the way that the, uh, uh the humans show up later. Though, since, uh, and clearly just walk around for unlimited time, but the moment I pick up the, uh, device, they'll come back. Hey there. That's another rewire. Is it the same room? Oh, uh, yep, there's this, there's the air purification. Interesting. Interesting how it seems that there are only temporary things. Like, you don't toggle it on and off, you toggle it on for like 30 seconds, for example. Because I did the speaker thing, and we, we saw the speaker thing turn back off a moment later. And then I did the, um... I just did the air purification thing, and that also turned back off shortly, that shortly afterwards. Alright, I think I got the main stuff around here, probably. 
I guess the reasonable thing to do is just save real quick, just in case I mess this up. Otherwise, I'll have to recollect everything. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I wonder if once the alien shows up, there will always be a random chance of him just arriving or something. Right now, the alien's not established as a character that can actually show up and fight me. So right now, I think I'm just in the clear to wander around freely, however much I want. But at some point, I presume that would stop. Alright, so... We know from earlier that, once I grab that, something about the rewire tool is going to indicate that I need the energy thing here. Or the security tuner, or whatever the... The thing to fix the uh, security tuner is going to be down there somewhere. So that's going to be what we do. Just going to run for that direction. So last time I was here, I walked up to the thing and I saw guys up there. So naturally I ran back where I was because it was safe back there. And that's the only known location. But I think that's what screwed me. Because then I couldn't... I then was trapped in, a, in the entrance. And it was the le it was the worst angle to try to navigate this room through. So instead I'm going to run up here. Because that's the opposite direction they come from. And we'll see how that goes. An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data set. Okay. We find her. Kill her. That lady is immediately the, mo the most disliked character in the game for me. Just because of how she instantly is- she so relentlessly wants me dead and caused the- this big nightmare scenario of me being stuck here all this time. Oh for, oh my god, no. No. Shitballs. Well, I guess this door's open because they came out of it. I'm going now. Okay, cool. Leaving. Leaving. I think she went downstairs. No. Come on. I'm not going down there. No way. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. We'll find another way up. We've been here too long already. Well, that hurt. So, they don't want to come down here, which to me think, makes me immediately think, oh, the alien's down here. That's the only logical conclusion. Interestingly, you can have a limit on how much scrap you can carry. You, I've capped that out before. Alright, now I'm curious, did they leave? If they left, I could go after that dude's loot. That door's open. That's not... Do that, then they're clearly up there. Never mind. Hey there. Hello, map. Alright. Somewhere around here is the data cell. Alright, yeah, I was gonna try to go all the way down. All the way back up to try to get that guy's stuff since I took him down. Sorry! Wasn't planning on killing anybody, but... Wasn't planning on him walking directly into where I was going. That was kind of a bad time for me. Hello, dramatic music. Are you coming out to play? Was that a fan? Or was that it? That's probably a fan. We just got some dramatic... Dramatic music. I don't know if I was supposed to see something or if it, that I missed. Or if it was just a sound. Was he going into the vent and I wasn't looking in the right direction at the right time? I'm not sure what would uh, cause that music. Got another map update? Aha! Next area over here. Sebastopol Works Archive. Oh, here's a perfect measure. Alright. Drinking bird. Aha! The drinking bird stops moving. So the tab... The tab map freezes the game, but crafting does not freeze the game. It's a revolver. That's definitely, if anything is in this room, is going to cause time to move forward. It's going to be that revolver, so let's look everywhere else first. Although there doesn't seem to be much in here. 
That's a dead end. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's a save. I could use that. We just got through that dreaded stealth section at long last. Alright. By the way, I tried playing it on easier difficulties, too. I momentarily switched away from hard down to medium and even easy, and they were still instantly recognizing me in the room. I'm like, what the fuck, man? They have infinite line of sight, and I'm like, it's- we're supposed to be in the dark. I don't know, man. So that seemed- it seems like you were just supposed to run up the, the uh, staircase to get away from them the moment they came in. And then if you don't do that, you're immediately getting yourself in trouble, and you're not going to be able to get out of that. And that's a bummer. Fully loaded revolver for murdering the people in the face, if you want to. Oh, they're rearranging my items. That won't be confusing at any point later on. Alright, I was hoping the items would just stay in specific locations on this radio menu so I could remember where they were. So, medkit's now bottom left, flare's bottom right, revolver's the top. Alright. Can I use the computer? Ah, oh, low power. Can I redirect power to computers? Is that a thing that works in this game? I feel like something's gonna be waiting for me now that I've got our gun. I've also got a save point, so I'm feeling invincible now. I never found the actual... It's supposed to be over there, huh? That- oh, so the door back there is where I have to go. Interesting. That was locked, though. Unless I'm gonna go back there and find out that's magically now unlocked, but... Either way, I might as well take a look at what's over here. Hello. What have we here? Mostly locked doors and disappointment. <laughs> hey there. Other room that has stuff I'd like to visit, but can't. Maybe we'll get a chance later to go behind that door. Whatever's down there. Oh, that's cool. They even have a big X saying, you can't go in this thing. Can I highlight it or something to tell me what it is? Nah. Alright. It'd be nice if I could highlight those things and it would tell me which thing I didn't have that didn't let me through. So I could know if I now have that thing or not. Still, the... That's startling. The map's useful enough, at least. The, uh... Stuff opening when I walk near it is startling. That's gonna mess with me at some point. What? You had a vending machine that would serve burgers and pizzas and burritos and hot dogs? How? It looks like it just drops out of a hole. I want pizza to come out of that thing. I could almost see burritos. I could be a bunch of frozen burritos that that get heated up and then dropped out of the hole onto a, like, in like a paper bag or something, but like everything else, I don't know. Hey, you're still locked, right? Hello, noises. We need a key card to get through here. Okay, new problem. So I can't get through here without a key card. Did I miss a key card? Aha! There it is. There we go. Alright, let's just do a nice little crouch. Right before I die. I come in peace. Understando? Ah, no one's in here yet. Until the bad thing comes later. Then I'm very dead. Oh, another, another tag. A lot of records of the missing people. Can I open you up? Alright, I'll take it. Oh. I can't carry any more sensors, and I can't craft anything out of sensors either yet. I can't carry any more scrap until I craft something else. Alright. All I can craft is a medkit right now, that's the only option, as far as I can tell. Uh, if we use an injector? Yeah, sure. I don't know there be I don't know about there being any limit on how many med kits I can carry. Would that be listed here? Doesn't seem to indicate, no. I think I have three out of six batteries I can carry. 
apparently have a limit on how many batteries I can carry. I don't know, if I was in this situation, I think I would find places to put the batteries if I really needed them. Oh look, another sensor I can't carry. Oh. Little revolver ammo. The, those good old human murders. Killing humans seems like a bad idea in this game. It's kind of a bad idea in general, but I mean like in this game it feels like those things could get killed by the alien, right? And if they're gonna, if they, anything distracts, anything that could possibly distract the alien seems like a good thing to me. Hello, corpsey man. How are you doing? Oh, God. Have you enjoyed being corpsey? Whoa. I get flashbangs? Look at that. That's a new one. Alright. It's a blasting cap, a sensor, and a bonding agent. Those are all things I had. Non-harmful device which detonates on impact, stunning nearby humans and blinding humans with synthetic looking... Uh, and humans and synthetics looking at the direction. As a modified proximity device, it can be placed as a trap that will trigger when enemies are near. So it works on humans and synthetics, no mention of worth working on the Xenomorph. Granted, it'd be a little weird if the interface mentioned the Xenomorph at all because I shouldn't know it exists, technically, yet. Yeah, he's a mess. They got him. Anything else? No. Oh, interesting. He's just got supplies on him. I thought he was gonna have like a. Uh, I thought he was gonna have what I need, really. I still gotta look around. Is this where I can expect the thing to be? Um, th this whole area is where I can expect it to be. Probably in that giant glowing room, then. Oh my god. The flight recorder. What? What? No! That's not good, probably. Where can I go? What's gonna happen? I don't think they like that I'm here. What is this? So I came all this way for a flight recorder, and then the flight recorder is corrupt, giving me nothing. Goody. Bad time to be me! Because now I gotta deal with aliens, and I don't even get to find out what happened to mommy. Okay, seriously, where am I going in here? I was looking for the, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm here looking for the... Uh, data cell. I don't know. Keep looking around, something else to click on. No, it doesn't seem like it. That it looks like the data cell is supposed to be in this room, right? Yeah. All right. Are you here? No. Oh, I just gotta keep pushing you guys over and over again. Are you the data cell? Yes, you are. Ah, uh, now I gotta go back to the elevator she was trying to hack in the first place, huh? Yeah, funny how if she didn't shoot me, we could just work together and go to the same place together on purpose instead of, you know, shooting each other like we have been instead. Let's try this thing out. Um... Tune into the coding system with the mouse? Oh, there we go. Then use the move keys and E to enter the code shown. 
Uh, and E. Okay. Uh, that one. Yes. Good. No. It's like <laughs> it's like we're playing Warrior where. Am I under attack yet? Can I use this computer? No? Alright. Never got a chance to go in this room yet. There's the door that connects it. Let's try it. Let's give that a go. Could be a useful room in the, in the future, potentially. Ta-da! Do -do -do -do. So these gotta be really stressful to do when you're under attack by something. Basically means you have to be fully in the hit in the in the in the clear when you try to do it, or you or otherwise you're totally screwed. There's a place to hide. Seeks in tomorrow together. Yeah, repetition never makes it creepy. Hey there. Thank you. Flashlight batteries, all. I appreciate that uh, that concept. This is from Marshall Waits. This is Chief Quarter and Tech Support. Look. There's nothing on this flight recorder, Waits. We've broken God knows how many corporate confidentiality agreements and come up with zip. Nothing except the Whalen yutani logo and an empty readout. Now, these things are built to last. So either someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother core to wipe it clean, or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? Someone is rather bitchy about the concept of the fact that that ended up the way it did. Whoopsie. Well, a little background on that. So we came all the way here for the Nostromo uh, flight recorder and got jack shit as a result. Oh, smoke bomb. Hello. Multiple new things. They do exist. They require ethanol. Oops, right, we click up here. Ethanol, sensor, and bonding agent. Nailed it. Now I've got one for the supply. So I've got a smoke bomb of flare. Let's see, it says, device which detonates on impact will release a cloud of smoke that obscures visibility as a modified proximity device that can be placed as a trap that will trigger when enemies are near. So similar purpose as a flash grenade, but different outcome, because a flash is an instantaneous problem and a smoke problem, a smoke grenade is more of a prolonged issue. All right. Gotta get used to the idea of, of like going on the like highlighting something with your mouse, then then just highlighting it, then letting go is how you switch to the right thing. Gun. Yeah, I'm sure she's perfectly trained with that. I think a smart thing to keep around for most for the most part is probably going to be the uh, to just stick with the med kit at times until I know what I want, and I can pick up those sensors now. I've now made those things. Alright. See, let's go revisit that save point, hopefully. Because I've done some good old inventory management. And I'm probably going to go right back into that room that had all the guards in it. And I'm sure I'm going to be dead-ish soon. Hello. Nice to see you. Emergency save location. Boop. Aha. I am determined. I want to beat this game on hard, damn it. It's the it's the so-called recommended difficulty for proper experience. And I'm going to kick its ass. Oh, that's not good. It locked the door. And let me guess, if I just uh all the alarms are gonna make all this noise and probably attract the alien, then I'm gonna just say then I'm gonna disable the uh it's a security lockdown, which then lets out the alien, I'm sure. And then I'm fucked. Uh, everything makes noise when you walk by it. Freaks me out. <laughs> hey, you there? Alright, oh. Uh, that one. That one. That one. Okie dokie. We still no clear here, nothing attacking me yet. I'm gonna craft as many damn things as I can. Sevastolink. Personnel, or personal, archives. To W Chief Porter, Sevastopol Terminals. 
Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sebastopol's internal mailing system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for all the people still here. The bad news is, whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware, and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it for now. He's a specialist archivist we called in. Seems to know his shit, though... Uh, just, just thought I'd, uh, better give you the heads up in the meantime. Franco. Frank, uh, shared an outpost of progress, plus, uh, number one. Sebastopol, an outpost of progress by Julia Jones. Desolation through isolation. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sebastopol is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Docking bays are empty, and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Seekson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up, and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here? And more importantly, where have the billions of dollars of investment come from, uh, have gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived on Sebastopol for two months compiling the report for the Colonial Times discovering the price of our second tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. Scathing. Ah, oh, no audio. How could you... You listed it there as if to imply a thing was going to be there, and then there wasn't a thing there, and now I'm sad. Okie dokie. How, how can there be this many girly magazines, and how come none of them are ever closed? I've never been to a place that has so many open magazines everywhere. It's weird. People normally close things when they're done with them. Unless everybody was simultaneously looking at them all at once when everything went wrong. That'd be interesting. Got myself a new smoke bomb. Don't want to leave any sensors behind if I can avoid it. What do we have around here? A little more scrap for the collection. You're a noisy thing, aren't you? Oh, there's the disabled security lockdown. We'll avoid that as long as possible. Because that'll be what causes stuff to happen. And ideally, I want stuff to not happen for as long as possible so I can grab everything in the room. Because that's how this entire subgenre of first-person horror games generally works, is... You, what? You press the button that solves the problem? That means everything's gonna happen now. You didn't want everything to happen, but now it's happened. It's all your fault. Hey there. There we go. And what's behind this door? Boom, my death. It's over. Nope, this is just the front door. Hello? Stop startling me, vent. This is another transit location, I believe. Yep. Alright, so that's just another way in and out of the room. Good to have open for later if I want to not get caught by something. Ideally. Alright, let's do this. I'm sure it'll all be fine. It was very distinctly not fine, as it turns out. Congrats, everyone. Shit has officially gotten serious. The alien is arrived. And it's somewhere? Well, fuck me, right? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I don't want to be dead, but I don't know where he is, and that's not a good time for me. And shit.
You over where the alien at? Just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Don't mind me. Ta-da! Base! I called base. You can't get me right now. Is that the sound of me being about to die? I thought I heard like a chitter. That's the stupid drinking bird, isn't it? All right. Alien threat established. This fucking music, man. <laughs> we gotta go back the way I can't. Oh no, that's how. That's how noise gets made. That's how I go do a dead. Where is he? He's probably gonna be killing the humans, huh? That's why we've established that they're all there. Oh, yeah. That's where we're going with this part, aren't we? Uh, oh, I've gotta do this again. Of course I do. Alright. Got it. Alright. Go back to hiding around the corner, just in case. Those are bad noises. Alright. They go through- they go through a sound, right? So just hopefully distracting... Sound system. Yes. Shit, there it is. Time to go. Sure hope this works out and I don't be super dead in a second here. Uh, that one and that one and that one. Faster, 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 faster. Whee! I pressed the button. Whew. Okay. And then it bursts through the wall and I die again, right? No? Okie dokie.